Mike, what is the future of neuroscience? That's a great question. I think uh, we can look in the past. We can look at the past of neuroscience. And uh, there's this frame called functional localization. This idea that if we can point to a brain region, we can figure out what it does. Or if we can point to a neurotransmitter like dopamine, uh, that there's a simple story. And uh, these, I think, are wrong. Uh, this is, uh, we need to move away from that. So it, the, the story that's kind of arising here is the future of neuroscience is understanding the brain's uh, principles of self-organization, the uh, sort of internal logic of how the brain builds itself. Uh, so we have uh, at QRI, we're looking at um, three principles. Uh, first is free energy principle. The brain tries to minimize surprise. Uh, you can do a lot with that, an incredible amount. Uh, connectome specific harmonic waves, this idea that the brain self-organizes around its natural resonances. You can also do a lot with that. And then third, uh, neural annealing, that um, much like you can heat a metal up and change it, and then as it cools down, uh, these new patterns sort of crystallize and become durable. Uh, that's perhaps how the brain updates itself. Uh, now, of course, the, the details are, are involved here, but that's what we're looking at. Nice. So the energy efficiency seems like a very common one that we're all aware of. And then um, the resonance, so for each person, what they find most resonant. Yep. Um, and then annealing, so our ability to then take and uh, change our, our, our mind and have that settle in as afterward. So these are some of the new, and there's so many more. Right. Yeah. Right. Exactly. And yeah. um, the idea is that if we can actually figure out uh, what principles the brain uses to, to function, then we can say uh, in a much more precise way about what it's actually doing in any specific case and why it's doing that. And of course, if we can do that, we can figure out better ways to intervene to, to fix problems. And then the cataloging the state speed of consciousness and navigating it as well with little dissonance is also a part of that future Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. And being able to look at psychedelics and meditative states and symmetrical states in this process, these are all parts of what QRI is doing with the future of yep. neuroscience. And it's all tied together. The more we know about one part of the puzzle, the more we can infer about all the rest. Yes, yes.